So I'm playing Monster Train. New game got recommended to me. I don't know what my channel is doing. Do I have a direction? Do I feel like this is going to be popular? Ah. Which is okay. Heaven hates me, and I'm a train. And this game is loud. It's probably not going to be that loud for you guys, but for me, it's very loud right now. Check out the settings page. Impressive settings page. Bend and run. Right, this is a roguelike card bi deck building card based. Bleh. It's a Slay the Spire clone. That's what we call it these days. Slay the Spire clone. Disciples, blah blah blah. I don't care about the lore, I care about aesthetic. Okay, so here's my core. Huh. And people arm the train. Okay. This guy seems kind of OP, but I assume that's uh, on purpose. So, I can't put that much on the floor? Okay, that's strange. I promise I've never played this game or even watched content of it before. I'm just the greatest of all time. Oh. Let's see, regen one, yep. It's about what I expected. Huh. So, that one can't go there because it doesn't have enough Aki. There's not enough Aki occupancy on that level. I'll burn that torch so that these two trade, or he kills her. And I believe. Oh, actually, because I didn't, uh focus on the priest, I think I actually lose this. Last run I killed it with a direct damage spell. Uh oh, that was a questionable decision. Here's why Ember is what they call mana in this game. Again, I can't do that because there's not enough. Uh, let's just throw extra shit up here. Might as well heal. Huh. I have got myself in a bad state here. Okay, so he has to kill the things he fights. He can't just smack them once and move on. Unfortunately, that makes my healing kind of useless. I'll kill that because my core can defend himself, I guess. That was probably just a waste. I would really have liked to find another creature or burn spell. My guy over here who attacks twice is going to be doing a lot of work against the boss. Yeah. Got some packs, got some gold. So I see, so when I get a pack I get to choose one. Oh! So do you double your energy, Ember, whatever, to all the enemies? This one is a small thing, only has one pip. And this one increases your ally's damage, but it's a pretty weak creature by itself. 
Seems like it would be really good with that guy who attacks twice, but I think I'm taking Vent for the option to kind of make a comeback. That's interesting, but actually... These all look really good, but I think I'm going to take Sting because I more often than not don't have enough cards to spend all my... or don't have enough um, energy to spend all my cards, so zero mana card seems good. So I get to choose Steel or Magic, and then I get a Hellhorned or an Awoken. Let's go magic. So I can upgrade spells. This is a very interesting shop. I played a decent amount of Slay the Spire. But I really like this. You basically get to upgrade, uh... <laughs> Your spells. I think we're gonna upgrade Torch. Yeah. While Sting d would be free and does a whole lot, or Restore would make main, it's a full heal. Torch lets me just throw it at anything, and that seems really useful for solving problems. <laughs> and then I'll get put the minus one on. Huh. Either a, I either want to do this on a different torch, because this one's already worth the mana I spend. Or one of my restores, just to make it cheap. I think I'll do it on one of my restores, just for variety's sake. That's an interesting shop. So it's a big one mana energy unit. That attacks for six, but it do but it does only have three health. This one effectively does three damage as long as there's two enemies, and it has just so much health. The same mana. Yeah, I think I'll pick up that. If all bosses have that trait where they have to fight to the death, that thing seems really good. I see, so these are Thorn's enemies. Spikes in this one. Oh, this is literally just a wall. And this is the boss. It's a lot of health he's got. But I'm liking this. I did not have any idea what this game was like before I started. Now being pretty interesting. So let's pull out that sting. I uh, use it or lose it, throw this regen on our big guy, and then torch the back guy so she doesn't buff him with even more thorns. I feel like we put a strong start down there. I feel like I'm not understanding how armor works. Okay, okay. It's saying that he's going to die. This one says that everybody but him is going to die, but I don't have any mana to do anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it seems like my plant dude doesn't actually take the thorns damage from everything he hits. So this would deal 6 damage just to him, that doesn't seem very worth it. I definitely want to toss a restore on him, and then I think... Yeah, 
yeah, it's the same damage, so I'll just... Sure, zero damage. Style. Okay. I want to throw up a steward up here just to finish this guy off and keep the perfect. Ah, oh, oh, I really don't want to lose my power torch just to screw with him. Uh, I'll throw that up to just make the boss as, as non-threatening as possible. Let's see, there we go. And then it, I could get some value out for, off of throwing this on my plant here. But I get more down the road by throwing a unit up there, I think. It seems like units either don't come back, or if they do come back, only come back after uh, they've died. So I took maybe half his health, but... Yeah, I don't have my extra special torch, so... Rent is the same damage. I might be in some trouble here. Let's hit him with a sting. Put on the, the useless regenerate. Or restores. If I don't get a chance to react to this, he keeps hits me again. Ah. Uh, maybe I misplayed my upgrades. Ha. Huh. This is interesting. I do think it's worth it to get uh, this guy. I you I don't have many one space units, and throwing up some uh, just beef might might really help me down the line. Oh, that seems pretty good. Oh, interesting. I think I'll take that. Let's see how it works. What do I get here? Concealed caverns. Restore pyre health. Magic merchant. Get an artifact. Get an awoken unit. Let's try this. I went the other way for the magic stuff last time. This one actually does something. The other one just makes my pyre have more health. What? Okay, that's worth it. That's a lot of stats. Looks like we get this one no matter which way we went. You know, I don't feel that attached to my health. I'll go for the 10. Yeah. This is a thing in Slay the Spire where you had to spay, spend gold. There we go. They just wanted gold. Well, that, uh, that's awful. But it's worth more than the gold. Usually artifacts are really good in these games. Or at least, you know, passive upgrades are good. Huh. So this seems like an actual boss boss. Ah, 
I see. So in this, in real boss fights, I have to throw people to chase after the guys. <laughs> so on turn, it kills itself and does 10 damage. But you have to hit it twice, otherwise it doesn't die. I think for ordering I have to go like this. Yeah, there we go. And I guess I'm just ignoring the boss. So if I throw this here, it just dies. And nothing is damaged to need healing, so I'll just throw this guy down here. The artifact actually really paid off in having them do basically nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, let's throw this guy down. Oh, he doesn't come with all of his health. Now I see it. Just get rid of that as a threat. <laughs> I didn't even check what this guy does. When I use a uh, spell on this guy, he uh, gets attack. That doesn't matter if he dies. So these guys are both just auto dead. But if I use the vent here, I do hit the boss. That was a that was a mistake. I didn't think about it. But if he only gains one attack and he only attacks once, then I'm still gaining a whole lot of power. Or a whole lot of health. Basically just trying to get this guy back in the way of two. the time for this thing. It would have been way better if the boss was on the floor, but, you know, use the boss. I only need to put one guy here to make sure this dies, so I think I'm just going to pop him here and not worry about damaging the boss. Oh! No, they don't get to attack! Get to attack, that kind of changes this. Ooh. But since I burned two, this guy gains power. Let's throw it on a steward on the top level. Uh oh, now I have to actually fight him. I've barely hurt this dude. I'm in a bad spot up here, but it would be e uh, it would be more beneficial for me to wait, I think. I don't know if that fireball did anything. Save the maximum amount of my double attacks for him. Right. Oh, this is a bad time to be you, boss. And a sting, and triple restore. Or double. I you know I'm mad for all Ember, whatever. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, that guy looks really strong. Rare pack. Draft and major enhancements. 
Oh, and now I got consume cards. Hmm. Even if I use all my ember on this, it's six strength, decaying over time, and six armor. It's not that much. First strike doesn't seem that good. But this is just nothing. Like, that's nothing. I need to have such a specific build for that to be good. I guess I'm taking the tome just because it does something really quickly and doesn't eat up all of my ember. Resolve. Every turn it survives, it gains 5 armor and it starts as a 10-15. I think I gotta take another one of these. Oh. These are interesting. I think I'll take the ember per turn for some tempo advantage. Now nah, I've got a couple big units. Let's get that light of the seraph so we can stack up units better. I really don't care to remove cards from my deck that much right now, but man, these rewards are so... I guess I could keep that one anyways, but those are nothing compared to these. So let's go to the Vortex and, quite honestly, these train stewards are not doing it for me anymore. I might be screwing myself by not having enough creature whatevers. Yeah. This confirms to me that I need that the uh, units don't restore. Great seven. Now that seems pretty good. Oh, but that hard stone would be amazing. I definitely want the eternal stone on something that can die really easily. I think actually, like obviously the correct answer is the water helper. Yeah, I think I'll actually do that. I'll throw it in front of my other units so that it dies on the first attack and then keep on playing it. And putting this on this guy is just a no -brainer. I can also afford the Fury Stone, which I can't, how could I not put it on the AoE guy? It's so organic. That's what we're going to do. Wow. That is a... That is a weird unit. <laughs> weird synergy unit. Between these two, I'm going to take the Horned Warrior. He's just a big swinging thing. Multi-strike two, so he attacks even more. Or I double both of his attacks. Like, this just objectively is better, right? Unless I have some way of buffing his attack mid... Uh... Combat. Let's continue on. I wonder how quick the runs end here. Oh, okay. I'm tempted to take this. Random artifact seems really good. Clips. Well, first of all, I'd like to say hot. Second of all, I think I'll take this. If I die, whatever. It's my first run. Oh, I love that. That's a great design decision. 
So I definitely want to put him down. And they're both stunned, so as, lo as long as I can put down enough damage to kill these guys... And per usual, throw this guy down here. And then just do like 12 damage to this guy, because he's got a lot of health. That was a bad idea. I should be killing this guy. Ouch, that, th that thorns is actually way stronger than I thought. I did not think very hard about this, and it's gonna come to bite me. But I've got two of these big dudes up here. Hopefully that's enough. Uh-oh, that's that's my champ down. Uh, but I owe for them, that's a lot. Ben seemed really so good at the start, and now it seems awful. No matter what I do, this guy dies. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. I think I'll throw, that, throw in one of these machines just to take it. And it feels so weird that... Oh, right. Even though he's endless, he only affects the thing in the front. But, he, but uh, these guys have thorns, I could have done that. Just keep laboring on... Layering on the, uh... Buffs and hope that uh, my middle will just get so ridiculously OP that it can take on the boss by itself. He already dies to my core, so I think high or whatever. So I think I just ignore him and let him deal his damage. And I focus again on buffing these dudes. Because now I'm just down to base health. If I vent right now, these guys, these guys back here both die. That gets rid of the thorns, and if my middle guys can deal with the boss, hmm. but they need more. They need to get, they need more healing if I want them to uh, solo the boss. If I don't play this, my pyre takes damage, and this is a great time to pull that. store and just play this. There's not really much point in playing the Welder Helper, he doesn't do enough damage to be relevant threat against the boss. Lost a couple health here because of my stupid decision to take the extra challenge, but I survived. Forever Flame, huh? What does that do? Units cost two let what the fuck? That's amazing. Reinforce still seems pretty bad. But I'm encouraged to get these imps because they cost zero. 
pretty much all units cost zero now. I guess we'll take the Molten Nim because Welder Helper isn't turning out to be that good. Hmm. I'd really like to grab some uh, healing cards, but I'll take Steel Enhancer just because uh, it doesn't seem smart to get zero cost spells when I have functionally infinite mana. So he can buy a uh, artifact or attempt to, or get gold, then go to magic. Now let's try this way. Buffing my hero, my healing seems really good. So I can do this to make my that spell I have that consumes itself plus one. But I also have this right here that heals my pyre whenever I play it, so considering it's not that good, I think I'll do that. But I can also make it cost one. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and use the Ember Stone. It's not like there's anything of value to throw it on, but... <laughs> but now there's no choice. I've got to throw this Power Stone on this because if, it, if that gets used on one of my guys who has a lot of missing HP, that's just gonna destroy a boss. <laughs> or normal enemy. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think that actively makes the spell worse, so no. I'd rather not. Go find here. Oh no, that's way too- that's way- <laughs> No. I'd like to get an artifact, but that is not one that works for me. Plus 25 health? Can I resist doubling down? Yes, I can. Let's make both of these guys really OP. So my strategy at this point is just to make one ridiculously threatening uh, floor, usually two, that deals with all the enemies. Stealth. So this guy basically goes up one floor for free and does damage for free. That's... that's a lot. Multi-strike four, man. This would be a good time to have some goddamn. Yeah, no, not giving them, not giving them an advantage for just some gold. Good time to have some thorns, though. Thank God I dazed the entire first floor. That said, all my units cost zero. Throw up the Horned Warrior right here. Kill him for free. Got nothing to do with his energy. Man, look at these dazed rolls. What is this guy? I see, so... This is like a loot goblin. I do have the d 12 damage thing to kill it. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Uh, I know it makes this floor wor like way worse if I do this. But that's just such a tempo swing. This guy's just tanking it.
I guess I don't have anything better than a steward to throw up here. Can I deal with this guy? Like, is it even possible? He does have 30 attack. This guy has a lot of health. the vent to try and make it so, uh, let's see, 40 total damage, and the, but the vent only does 6. I very, nar very, very narrowly miss out on killing this guy, but at that point I think it's just better to stack healing. Throw a torch on the one down here because I know how threatening they are. I should use vent so that I kill the stealth unit. First target. I did not realize that. That was my bad. I barely even paid attention to my first row at this point. Oh, here's the boss. I know that at this point that's not a lot of damage, but. That was the mis that was a mistake. I should have killed the one who wasn't dazed. This guy is dead. Can't do anything with him. Better to go all in on the one that can tank. Is beefy heal me boys gonna carry me through another boss fight? chance here. He does f 20 damage on the, in an attack. I don't have any way of, deal of dealing with that much. This guy will get the most attacks because he's last. Oh nope, he just doesn't get to attack at all because he's multi-attack. Do I just die here? I think I might just die here. No, I don't. I very, na very narrowly survived with 8 health. That... That seems good. That seems way worse. Interesting manipulation card, but this one seems a lot better. Just because I every fight relies so much on those guys who never get to full health. And I don't feel like I have many cards I want to remove at this point. So let's just take my amazing amount of gold and Multi strike one. Oh, that's gonna be amazing on this guy. Rage seven. 
You know, that might actually be really good on one of my imps, because... Specifically the one that I make to die. Because that way, so he actually does some damage before he leaves. And Horned Warrior, get some goddamn HP so you can do something. And for once, I'm appreciating that health. I'm probably gonna die here anyways, but... Multi-strike 1, 10, 1300 health? Scourge cards to my deck? This does not seem doable. Bosses got their own theme. That doesn't seem like very important to me as I'm just gonna die anyways. But let's set things up. Not being able to, uh. These guys not being able to actually retaliate means that a horned warrior can actually get some work done. And throwing this guy down means I remove the only unit that. They bother to play. I don't get to need it, but let's throw some restore. This time I'm gonna have to focus a lot more on damaging the boss with my units. But I have like no I have no way to kill my imps. Well that's not true, I can always uh use the sacrifice thing. I don't want to use this right now. Soon, but not right now. So that's what she does. She just puts this in my hand until she decides to start fighting me. There we go. That's the synergy I was looking for. Throw some armor on that. Finally get these guys down. Throw the train steward up here. Honestly, just hit the boss for that 12. I want to chip the boss as much as I can because I have no faith in my ability to survive after. Wow, what an awful time to get this. Yeah, I don't think I... This guy doesn't actually die. That's annoying. But he is stunned, so he doesn't hurt me. Thankfully my head enough this time to actually be hitting the boss instead of just dealing with the ads for the most part. Let's throw down another train steward up here. Start healing. I feel like I just kind of die anyways. If I don't buff my guys, but I'll get rid of this just in case it puts some more break point on me. I've only done like a hundred damage to the boss. That's without her attacking. Thankfully it seems like this boss is taking a lot longer to actually fight. Ah, that was a mistake.
Now I can throw this here. This guy just dies here, so I'm not too worried about it. Throw the free regen here. Do we really want to give up? Yeah. Yeah. It's the right play to not just let this stack up. Well, this is probably the end of me. I actually think I'm gonna go up here and buff him. This guy just dies before he does anything, so I'm excited to sting the boss. But my hope is just that he is so ridiculous that he can take on the boss. That is a lot of health, and I am not good at math. Space to play my imp again. Ninety damage. In the words of an inspiration to us all, that's a lot of damage. But despite hitting harder than the boss, I don't think I have enough health to tank it. Or can only, higher can only survive two hits. But that one extra turn is a lot. We got her all the way down to 333, but two, my two front units are automatically gonna die. Might as well throw a restore on this guy. Yeah. Nope, I lose. That's it. And that was the end of my first run of Monster Train. Looks like I was only two away from the final level. watching. I've definitely enjoyed playing. I expected this game to be a joke. Bye, y'all.